where do we pick up what's going on with your character and just give us a little rundown of what we can expect. Um, well, Morwenna is still working for the doc, um, hasn't yet been fired for surliness in response to his grumpiness. Uh, and it's sort of getting like she's good at her job now. She's efficient and like even starting to be uh, starting to do some operations and be involved in that, which is quite exciting. Uh, I think that's for want of anybody else rather than because she's particularly proficient and uh, goes out and manages to save somebody's life on a lifeboat in episode one uh, with her friend Janice, um, who isn't as medically. Uh, astute yep. um, and yeah she's sort of pootling along quite nicely now living with Janice as opposed to the disaster that was living with Al in mm -hmm. the last series um, but there's still a little spark between them okay um, <laughs> we understand she asked for a pay rise this year how does that go down with himself um, well like a sack of <laughs> the proverbial to be honest <laughs> Just good to warn me in time before I swore. Uh, and no, not very well, not very well. But she persists uh, and later in the series um, reads a book about assertiveness, which means that she kind of, by the end, has got to grips with going, no, this is what I deserve. Um, but initially she feels like she needs to have a pay rise because she's doing all these operations and <laughs> she's basically running the show okay. and stopping people from <laughs> complaining to the NHS about Martin being excessively grumpy with them. <laughs> we live together, but you don't really see us in our house together, do you? You see me in the house. I'm um, putting food on the table for our family. Well, this is it as well. Janice doesn't have a job. Um, and so Moena sets her up to be the new nanny. Um, and they didn't have any choice. So it was me or no one. I think she's very much in her own world and sort of, she's a very vain individual and um, that vanity can lead to some disastrous um, childcare. Um, <laughs> she does manage to lock poor James Henry in her house because she's so busy talking to Ben Hale and doing her makeup. Now, other than that, I think she fits in quite well. Penn Hill has his eye on her. Um, th is it reciprocated? How, how is that blossoming or not blossoming? Um, I think initially, I mean, Janice knows from day one that he's interested in her. Um, he doesn't, he sort of like follows her around a bit like a puppy dog and then tries to impress her with various different feats and lets her down a couple of times. Um, is it reciprocated? I think to begin with, I think she's just like, likes having someone like her. And then I think the thought of him maybe leaving prompts her to reassess. Okay. Um, any double dating with Al, perhaps? Um, we go. Uh, we have a barbecue at Penn Hale's house, which has been entirely, entirely orchestrated for Janice's benefit. Uh, and so basically invites Mulwenna and Al just so that it's not just the two of them. Um, and so, so I suppose it's a double date, but I don't think at that stage Morwenna or Al would admit to it being anything romantic for them. Okay. Uh, they're just going along because it's nice to go to a barbecue. And if they happen to be spending time together, then all the better. That's very nice. Will we see any continuation with that relationship? Um, by the end of the series, it feel, it, all the way through, there's lots of really nice stuff um, of of them being kind to each other and having nice nice smiles at each other across a room. Uh, and uh, and then by the end, we're sort of left feeling like, OK, this could be more than just, just them being friends. We've got over the embarrassing, awkward, almost date that they had in the last series. Um, and they seem to speak to each other like humans a bit more now. So it's good. <laughs>